We're back to put the line on the clock where we give our panelists one minute as a group to highlight some of the week's top stories. First up, Ryan Flynn was confirmed this week as Secretary of the New Mexico Environment Department. Despite opposition from some environmental groups and about one third of the Senate, some say Flynn is too closely tied to industries such as copper mining. Mr. Flynn, however, maintains that he is fair and balanced. Janice, something hasn't been talked about a lot in the news. Is Secretary Flynn is also an assistant judge advocate, a JAG general in the U.S. Air Force Reserve. His cabinet department oversees the Kirtland fuel spill cleanup. Is this somewhat of a uh, conflict of interest just on appearances? We don't know the details. But on appearances. Uh, you know, I, I personally think it's a stretch because okay. I, I don't know what his billet is as a JAG officer. It may not even be at Kirtland. I have no idea. Uh, uh, okay. and, and so you can be an attorney any place in the military. Yeah. It may not be there. Interesting. Laura, you thought JAG officer is there a problem there? Um, I don't know. I didn't no. even know this until you brought it up. But I've known Ryan for many years, and I worked with him at Module. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I had a lot of environmental folks who were opposing it. But um, you know, I've always felt that he was a, um, a more moderate Republican. It's a okay. scale. Okay. Um, and I think you know, it was a tough confirmation. So. Sure. He got worked through, as they say. Yeah. Mr. Boitano, what do you think? Well, you know, the job of the environmental department is to protect and restore the environment. He says that his uh, obligation is to the environment, so I think he has his priorities right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always got to be a balance between jobs, the economy, and the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, mining is a huge, uh, a huge yeah. industry in New Mexico. I know there's been some backlash because of the water issues over, sure. over mining, but. Uh, we need to have reasonable regulations in banking. We need to have reasonable regulations, oil and gas, and sure. also when it sure. comes to mining as well. So I think he'll put that into place. There you go. I'm going to hold you there, Sophie. Bernalillo County Sheriff Dan Houston is welcoming the TV show Cops back to New Mexico. The county won't get any money from the deal, Mr. Houston says, but it'll be good for public relations because it will highlight the hardworking deputies. Mr. Boitano, let me start with you. Former Mayor uh, Marty Chavez, as we all remember, uh, flushed the show out of here and to great effect. A lot of citizens very much appreciated it, as a matter of fact. Is it, it, Mayor Berry is saying it's not going to happen. He's instructed APD to not help. How can they possibly film in Bernalillo County and not say the word Albuquerque? I don't see how th this is even possible. And so we end up getting dinged again is the, is the end result, it seems to be. Well, that's, that's, I, I think the answer to that is editorial control. So the okay. sheriff has negotiated that. And I think that's huge. I mean, say Breaking Bad. So the content of Breaking Bad, uh, you know, problematic. But in terms of mm -hmm. an uh, image for Albuquerque, sure. it's, it's helped to sell Albuquerque. What the sheriff says is, I'm going to feature my depu deputies, the things that they do. If that's featured, he has editorial control. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, his uh, freedom. The, di the difference Good. there, mm -hmm. though, is that people don't typically travel, make little pilgrimages, dress up in special outfits because of the awesomeness of the sheriffs they saw on, on cops. And so I think there's an important distinction that needs to be made there. What I have found fascinating is that there does seem to be a great deal of pride on the part of officers sh who appear on the show mm -hmm. that I think is at conflict with the perception of people who are not officers mm -hmm. viewing the show and mm -hmm. who really do focus in on the crime. Exactly right. Your thoughts on this one? Well, the, the part that, that kind of struck me as odd is that there's no um, compensation. Like this is a no compensation kind of deal from what I understand in the media right. reports. Right. Um, I think there could have been something negotiated where the, where the we'll county actually goes. got something. We'll, we'll see how the public uh, pipes up on this one. This could be interesting. going to hold you there, Janice, we're a little short on time. Alan Alfeld, the man responsible for resurrecting the La Posada Hotel in Winslow, Arizona, a place that Sophie Martin and myself love. It's a beautiful place. He's working on a deal to we purchase. Together, we don't go there together. Uh, he's uh, buying uh, it. It kind of uh, came out that way, unfortunately. But the historic Castaneda in Las Vegas, he's buying this. The purchase would take the Plaza Hotel out of receivership and would revive the long dormant Castaneda, but it also hinges on what Alfeld calls a complex deal, which in part involves tapping into tax credit. Sophie, let's start with you. Uh, that lot, we're, we're joking about it. It took him and he and his wife 15 years to build that place, and it mm -hmm. cost $12 million. Mm -hmm. However, Laposada. the results it are spectacular. It is incredible, and I have mm -hmm. to say, um, for the viewers who have not read Appetite for America, the book about the, the building of the Harvey, uh, the Harvey Hotels, this is an important part of our culture mm -hmm. here in New Mexico. And here we have somebody in the private sector who is stepping up and saying, I see the importance of this cultural mm -hmm. institution and the beauty of Las Vegas, New Mexico. It warms my heart. Interesting. It's a good deal for Las Vegas if this works. Uh, Tremendous. Absolutely. I mean, for once, you know, people say, Las Vegas, Nevada? Right, no, right, right. Uh, New Mexico. Because yeah. I mean, talk about 
uh, the most one of the most beautiful places in New Mexico mm, yep. is in northern New Mexico in Las Vegas. That plaza that alone Ooh. is just gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, it would be a real shot in the arm yep. for Las Vegas. Lesson about private enterprise versus government money. Money. You know what I mean? I mean, somebody had to step in and do it. Sure, but so. they're not doing it in a in a vacuum. I mean, there's still a that's lot true. of uh, public financing that's going to need to go into it as yeah, well. Yeah, tax credits and all that kind of thing. Thank you all. Interesting subjects tonight. Really appreciate it. We're on the web with more, so don't move. As always, all of us here at New Mexico In Focus appreciate your time and your effort to stay informed and engaged. Catch up with us anytime on social media by searching New Mexico In Focus, and you can find archived interviews and lots of bonus material from our shows on our YouTube channel and at NewMexicoInFocus.org. I'm Gene Grant. We'll see you next week in Focus.